on board, here board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> Hmm, okay, let's see, after all of this, yeah, I got this, I sold that, hmm, good, good, now, let's see, the warehouse, I got that refurnished and everything, make it look presentable, but not too conspicuous, is it good? <clears throat> yes, yes, my mom, what was it? it was Um Nothing, I was dinner's ready. Oh. Oh, right. <laughs> good, good, thanks, uh man, well, wait a minute, I need to cool it. Azuka's eating, all he's thinking about is like okay, so I gotta place a store for my wares as well as my my personals, I just need to make sure I have a back door or something. I, uh, luckily, the place is very uh, out there. But the thing is, I do need to find a way to make some actual money. Well, at least seem like I got this money legitimately. Only downside is I... Hmm. Hey, Mom. Yes? I thought of something. How about... What's one, what was one of your dream projects again? Um... Why are you so interested? Just, just asking. Oh, um, well... I always wanted to open up a nightclub when I was younger. Why didn't you? Well, uh, things happened and I had to focus on other things and re, re uh, think my priorities. Well, hey, how long was that? How old are you? Uh, I, I, I did not mean for it to sound like that. It's just... Uh, I understand, Mom. How about this? If I could come up with enough money, would you open up your place? Uh, uh, what? You heard me. If I could come up with enough money for you to get a nice location and everything, and... You know, set up an actual club, would you? What, what would you do here today? Uh, that would. I. I, I, don't, I don't know. It, that would be great, but. It would cost a lot of money to at least find a suitable location. <sighs> Yeah. But you've done so much for me, so the least I can do is, you know, help you out once in a while. And then go, she just hugs Izuku and gives him a kiss and says, no, that's not necessary. Thank you for the thought, though. Okay, fine, I got some money and I won't like to invest in your dreams. What? As he just takes out this duffel bag. Where did you get this? 
That's irrelevant. Is that bloodstain? Uh, I cut myself by accident. <sighs> Where did you get this? Never mind that. Um, is this enough? Well, um, I, uh, is it? If not, I have more. Or at least can get it. It's enough. But why? Like I said, I want to invest in your dreams. Plus, the nightclub sounds cool. Uh, something doesn't feel right about this. Trust me, Mom. It's gonna be fine. As, yeah, Izuku, he's trying his best to make sure so Ingo doesn't know where he got it. Just follow your dreams type of thing is what Izuku's trying to do. Ingo being oblivious, but also so happy that she gets to fulfill something that she's been wanting to do for God knows how long. Only thing is, she's nervous as hell when it comes to getting the property, setting things up. Izuku has to pretty much be kind of like, okay, mom, you need this, you need that. And, but, but as construction is going on, Izuku still has school, so he can't always be there. He just has, okay, mom, if. If there's something you don't understand or something that you need to, you would like me to help you with, just call me. I don't care if I'm at school, if I'm doing an assignment, just let me know. Because the last thing I want is for you to get swindled. It girl, she's ec ecstatic. But also, it's like, is this really going to work out? Is this, am I really going to fulfill... A, one of my dreams and where she is egg hell it's Izuku so she's still wondering wow how has he he's just changed so much from that little boy hmm now it's the whole heroes versus villains Izuku knows he, when it comes to all out fight, he can't use lethal force. When it comes to him versus Bakugo, Bakugo is a lot more cautious, so he's not just running in there blind. He's checking corners. He's making sure, okay, so he's right here. Let's see, should I just go ahead and fill up my shoulder cannons or whatever? He has no idea. Because, if anything, Izuku wearing the jacket implementing it into his hero costume, he has no idea if he actually has any of the weapons that he said he would use against him. So, uh, it's anyone's guess to, to how. Okay, so. Does he have this that he needs to stop me from using my explosions? Or does he have that? He and Izuku's fight lasts a lot longer. Araka, she does still get distracted considering Ida being like overly into the role of a villain. The only thing is, when Izuku does start to use his weapons everyone's like what the fuck where did he get, get that thing as he actually pulls out a grenade launcher all my about to stop it but as soon as it explodes on contact it freezes Bakugo solid up to his neck so he gets away all he wants if he can't ignite it he's pretty much out of luck Suku goes to help Baraka and they win.
But this is pretty much when All Might's like, no fucking way. Well, he doesn't say that, but that's what he's thinking. Him actually stopping Izuku right then and there. Asking him, like, okay. Do you remember such and such those real incident and blah blah blah? Uh, it depends. Why you want to know? Because I actually found him completely immobilized. Wondering if you had anything to do with that. Uh. Um. Don't lie to me, young man. I... <sighs> yeah. Alright. So, did you use the same thing that you used on Young Bakugo on the Slush Bill? Yes. Hmm. And that jacket. Yeah, what about it? Where'd you get it? Uh, a friend. Really? Pray tell, what, what can you tell me about this friend? They helped me when I was a kid there from mm, south. Deep South. Alright. Anything else? Like, what color hair or, you know, what, any distinguishing features? He had white hair, horns, and a uh, arrow t shaped tail. <laughs> Please, please be serious. What you're describing is a demon. That's pretty rude. Uh, wait, I, I didn't mean it like... No, I understand. <sighs> look, just because someone's query makes them look a certain way does not mean... No, no that is not what I meant. Then what are you trying to say? It's just... A description is... Well, there are a lot of quirks out there. Can I go? Uh, um, sure. Uh, yeah, yeah, yes, you can. All my feeling kind of bad, but also like, wait, what the hell? <sighs> I was supposed to ask him about the weird ability that thing has, especially considering he's supposed to be quirkless. <sighs> Damn it. I want to either try to talk to this kid more often. As Zuku does go back home, he does notice this weird sensation of someone following him, him leading them to an alley and jumping their ass. Him realizing that uh, excuse me, ma'am, who are you? It being, of course, Himiko Toga. Uh, I, uh, I, um, 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 what, what, what is it? Uh, the... What's that? Oh, gee, you can't seriously think I... As she's gone, is What the fuck? Wait, how did she... <sighs> Must be a quirk. Making her disappear or some BS. Oh, well. Yeah, I'm just leaving. Here we go. Hmm. He's interesting. I can't reveal myself just yet. But how do you notice me? 
following him. I, I was certainly more careful than I thought. Uh, than usually. Hmm. As, yeah, as you get home, Inko, she's pretty much sleeping. Him saying that, yep, she's actually found a, some uh, very good construction people. And Zuku's thinking, wait, that name. Oraka. Right, I think I heard something about her family owning a construction company. That actually may work in my favor. So the next day, he goes to Oraka directly. People shocked, a little surprised, considering he didn't really show much interest in what was going on. But also, like, uh, can we talk in private? Her being still kind of, uh, you're, okay. Only thing is, when it comes to Izuku talking to her, she thinks it might be a love confession, which Susie brings up the thought, whole uh, thing about her construction company and like, oh, right. So, let me guess, you think I shouldn't be trying to be a hero? Well, because, like, no. That's not, it's not about that. If anything. I would like to add on a, to a project that you and your family are a part of. What? Yeah. The club. The nightclub that my mom wants to open up soon enough. Wait. Midoriya. That, that's your mom? Yeah. Um, well, I, I can't, uh, uh, I can't really say anything per se about what we're doing, but considering that you are the, the son of the owner, maybe I can have put in a word from my parents or something, if that's what you're wanting. To, you know, I want them to do something for me without my mom's knowledge. What? Yeah, let's say there's this place that I might want to get to, but it could be a hassle to actually get there. Oh, wait, like what, like a tunnels or something? You could say that. Well, that, I'm not sure if we can actually do that. I mean, on one hand, it seems like something we could, we could do, but I'm not sure on the whole legality thing of it. We will have to draw blueprints to have a, no, 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 no. I mean, yes, you would have to have a diagram and whatnot about it, but it's either as soon as it's done, you destroy it, or give it to only me. I don't want my mom to know about it at all. What? Why? Last resort. Like, uh, just in case things don't go so well. Um, I'm, I'm not sure that's wise, and again, 
possibly not legal. Listen, can you just do this for me, please? I, I, you know, wait, that's right, being a hero. It can be very dangerous for people and their families and, you know. Oh, so they're trying to make it so, just in case people do, well, I guess they would kind of know our identities as heroes, but try to make sure that if anything goes south, your you or your mom has somewhere to be safe, right? Exactly. See, yes. See, we are on we are on the same wavelength. I I can tell. <laughs> so yeah, can can you do it? Um. Yes, but no. My parents will still have to know about it and inform your mom. You can just ask her. And, uh, oh. <sighs> fine, fine. I'll, I'll see you about that. Damn it. He's leaving in Oraga to feel like I think I made him mad. Mizuku does the ride back home, see if. <sighs> Mom, I got a question. If I wanted to make an addition, the only I know about, would it be, uh, of course. Now, before you say no, wait, what? Yes, you, you can make alterations as long as it doesn't mess with the integrity or anything that could be problematic to the infrastructure or anything, you know, yeah, you can do it. And if you really don't want me to know about it, I can, that's, that's fine. But sure, of course. I mean, I wouldn't be doing this if it weren't for you. <laughs> really? Of course, Izuku. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Thank you very much. So, um, do you have anything else to talk to me about? Uh, oh, no, no, um, uh, no, I, I don't, I, that, that was it, that was all I needed to ask you. Ziku, happy as hell, and also like, oh, thank God. She talked to Moxie about it. Him, like, oh my God, you had no idea how stressful that was. So you're making tunnels in between your hideout and your mom's nightclub? Yeah. <sighs> Wait, if it's going to be nightclub... Wouldn't she need liquor license? Huh? Yeah, I mean, if it's nightclub, would you normally have alcohol and such? Oh. How long will it take to get a liquor license? Um, I, I'm not sure. I mean, here, here down hell, you can get just like that, but in the human world, I think there are different laws, especially considering you're in Japan. Uh, uh, damn it. Fine. I'm going to have to rethink about this. Uh, yes, Izuku, he's doing his best trying to find a way. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Getting a liquor license in Japan. Hmm. Huh. 
how long would that take and how much cash am I going to shell out? Hmm. 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 Oh. Huh. That's that's not too bad. Hmm. No, no, not not too bad at all. Huh. If anything, yeah, I'm, it can be a little a pain in the ass getting people to actually want let us sell their wares. But then again, we also gotta worry about workers like bartenders and other staff. Will we have food there? Well, of course we should have food if it's a nightclub. Also, we you know, need bouncers, plain old security. I did not think so. So I'm just through. I just openly agreed to it. How much is this gonna cost me? Damn it. You know what? We'll worry about this later. Rest of work, just focus on everything getting built. I'll put some more money in it if I have to, but still. Oh well, fine. Let's see, I, I can make this work. E easy peasy. Oh, denial never felt so good. And Rich, yeah, the only thing is, because of the hiring process of other, their staff, guns, bartenders, bouncers, and all, that, the doorman, and all this, like checking for licenses, make sure they're not bringing any outside drinks or alcohol, as well as food. And, yeah, it's a rigorous process to the point where Izuku is not only doing background checks, but also peering through the veil, trying to see, like, okay, we know what the government has captured, but what about the things they probably didn't see or get caught for? When he finds any red flags, he decides to report them. Or at least, depending on how severe it is, just tell them, nope, just keep it pushing. Until he does find some much more family friendly esque people. Because he knows his mom is the one who's a very. She's not very uh, strict. She can be a pushover. The only reason she really stuff for Zuku is because, hell, that's her son. She's. She's being old mama bear at that moment. Who wouldn't? But he doesn't want her being taken advantage of. Financially, emotionally, physically, either. So he's making sure that, uh, okay, these are people who my mom can trust, who I can trust, and no, they won't try any slick shit. So, after this whole exhausting ordeal, Izuku does <laughs> promise them, yes, as soon as we get there, they have a job, but they also need to wait until, you know, the thing is actually fully built and everything's ready. Like the lighting, being the tables, the booze, ugh. there's a lot that goes in making a nightclub, especially when it comes to making a DJ or uh, all the like. Which is now the whole USJ attack. And Izuku over a course of time has gotten more and more job opportunities as a little assassin. First he wasn't much you could really think about, but he's at least got his name out there enough so people would consider him for a job. The only thing is, when he realizes, oh, the USJ, wait, 
You are my school? He's always thinking, oh, one hand, there's a lot of money in this. On the other hand, you know what? There's, there's not even a question of what to do here. So he actually calls it in. It's an anonymous tip. Make sure you use either a burner phone or as well as destroying it, or you know, on those phone booths if they still have them. Oh, he makes sure you ain't know that something ain't right. Whether they believe him or not, we'll see. Sadly, Uizuku does arrive at the USJ. He knows it's 13. But he knows his All Might isn't there. Bazawa is, Snipes there, Midnight, Miracle, Best Genius. As he just plays it dumb, like, what's going on? It's like, we got a tip that something might be going down. So, mm, we want to make sure that you kids are safe. But then something crashing through the doors. Everyone's on guard to DC Endeavor. Shoto. Him just giving him the cold shoulder. But then the villains show up. And they did not expect so many heroes. So some of them are shaming themselves, others are trying to fight. It's when the Nomu shows up. And luckily, Aizawa and 13, they're still safe. They're okay and everything. Because Endeavor is going to burn the hell out of Nomu. So, Crisis averted. When it comes to Snipe shooting Shigaraki's hands, Izuku joins in on that. One thing is, he shoots off his entire hand, and everyone's shot. At the, well, what the fuck? Why, why'd you do that? Just to be safe. In fact, him aiming for the other one, but boof, they're gone. They the to go quit thinking. Them completely, like, what the fuck, man? I thought All Might was supposed to be there. I didn't expect all these years. Over one. They shouldn't have known about the attack. Hmm. Huh. He might have a rat amongst us. Why? Hmm. Yes. But who? Them just wondering, okay, so who was there? Who knew about the attack? But then, as soon as they start pointing the finger at Izuku, he is pretty much like, no, no, can't be me. Because he has actually made it so he does have somewhat of a secret identity. To the point where even Awful One doesn't know about it. He doesn't know about Awful One's quirk, but he also knows that Awful One ain't one to fuck with him when it comes to the underbelly of society. Everything's a red flag when it comes to him. Pretty much like, don't mention him, don't do nothing stupid, don't piss him off, don't cross him in any way. So though, yeah, Izuku did wrap out the whole, yeah, that's gonna be a hero, that's gonna be an attack and whatnot. He made sure to cover his tracks to a point where he can't even see him. So, they're at a loss to who could just spilt the beans and all that. Now, finally, after so long, all the processes, all everything that would need to be done before they came to the whole nightclub being needing to be open and everything Whew. it finally opens 
And since it is a new nightclub and whatnot, they still are a little shaky. Everything's new. They're trying to make sure that they're not copying too many concepts from some people if they are. Heck, an old fashioned, easy drink, whiskey sour. Hell, when it comes to a plain margarita, martini, whatever. Make sure you know enough drinks as hell. If they're popular enough to be worldwide or bullshittery, have them on the menu. Make sure everyone knows it. Have some signature drinks that no one else else uh, serves. <laughs> well, Izuku, he's pretty much inspecting his tunnels. As he knows his... Huh. That seemed like a, another good location there. Hmm. Okay. I have my tunnels in my warehouse. I got my tunnels to to in front of the nightclub. That's good. That's good. But also, hmm. What about this uh this little house right here? It's not too big. It's not too small. It seems just right to me. But hmm. I have the money to buy it now, but. Still, the damn IRS, I don't want them peeking into my affairs just yet. I'm going to wait. I'm going to actually uh, wait a little bit and try and make sure that we have the money to back up our purchases. When it comes to the books, at least. So Izuku, he, he makes, he at least makes the nightclub more popular by leaking things online, trying to promote it, even having some uh, heroes appear, just in case. Which kind of heroes? Mainly Midnight, as well as, hell. He has all my just to apologize for kind of assaulting his friend. It's like, you want me to make an appearance at this place? Like, yes, my mom just recently opened it. Would you please? When it comes to whole sports festival, Izuku does end up participating. The only thing is, he's without one for all. It's a bit harder. Luckily, he doesn't have to use a quirk because the Oscar race, especially with his analytical mind, knowing that, uh, okay, these bombs can can only do this much force. I, oh, yeah, I can use that. Since they know he's quirkless, it's pretty much like, mm, yeah, we don't want to be around him. The same thing like it would be in canon. They don't have much faith in his abilities. Because May, Oraka... Hell, Dark Shadow, yeah, they pretty much have the same strategy while Izuku is trying to keep those uh, 10 million points. He doesn't really care much for the festival itself, but he has to make it at least look like he's more invested than he actually needs to be. He doesn't want to put anyone off like, okay, for some reason he's not really interested, but why? Luckily, lucky for him, he is good at being a actor. Though he does lose his too many points, he already tells Darshell ahead of time to start snatching points from unsuspecting victims. I.e., they stare in the one, and you know he doesn't really care as much comes to him versus Shinzo, no one for all, so it's a bare knuckle fight, with Shinzo actually being more, uh, you could say a bit more respectful to an extent, the only thing is he still hates the fact that Izuku is in 1A. He still hates the fact that, okay, so this quirkless guy 
is better than me. He made the cut when I didn't. I have a quirk. Though, yes, it seemed to be a bit villainous. It's still a good quirk. But he has no choice since Izuku is pretty much keeping his mouth shut thanks to Ojiro's testimony that he has something wrong. Like, Excuse me, are you going to speak to me? Izuku just keeping his mouth shut and beats Shinzo senseless until he just throws him out of the ring. Izuku wins, but he does a... I already figured out what your quirk was. It's kind of mind control. He's brainwashing, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it was kind of obvious as soon as my classmate let me know about it. At least when it comes to him talking to you, he let me know how weird it was. I can at least say this about Odro. He's very honorable. Now, as for when it comes to him versus Todoroki, oh, I want to give Izuku the benefit of the doubt, but chances are he's losing this one. He can only do so much without using his weapons, which, yeah, they say he can, but uh, he has something to prove, or at least what he's trying to say. So he actually does lose. Bago is pissed that he doesn't get to face Izuku again, but also, like, uh, okay, it makes sense. He hasn't really, he doesn't really know much about Todoroki's fighting style. If he did, he doesn't really have, he can't really use his tactics here to the fullest. So, yeah, sadly, Izuku does lose to Todoroki. But when it comes to the whole stain thing, that still happens. One thing is when Stain does actually go for Ingenium, Izuku was long gone because he says he had something else to do. Hearing about Stain, knowing that okay, this guy's killing heroes. Uh, on one hand, I get why he's doing it, but on the other hand, I might need to fix that. So. Izuku is the one who actually finds Ingenium. The only thing is, he's pretty much shot to the fact that he's alive? Only getting a glimpse of Stain. Him realizing, oh my god, Ida is going to be on a war path for this man. He instantly just like, Mox, we have a problem. Is there anything you can do when it comes to healing people? What? Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. It is, I know it might be out of your expertise or whatever, but... Uh, hmm. There's one thing you can do. What? Hmm. Phoenix Tears. What? Yeah, Phoenix Tears. Those things will fix him up like that. Okay. That's good. Only one problem. I don't have any Phoenix Tears. Hmm. Yeah, it is a problem. Look, calm down. Uh... Hmm. Ah. All you need to do is find one. And uh, with any luck, you can actually snatch one of the eggs. What? Yeah. How do I find one? Well, hmm. Considering the whole rebirth, everything, I was just somewhere where if there was a fire, it would be easily controlled. So not somewhere where a lot of plant life. Hmm. 
or somewhere where fire is not a real problem. What like hell? Oh no. I mean, I don't think I ever seen a phoenix here, but I mean, we do have dragons here, but just tell me. Try somewhere where there's a mountain. I mean, they're birds, so. Are you sure? Yeah, that's. I've never needed Phoenix Tears before, so. Mm. So Izuku has no choice to go somewhere remote, somewhere where vegetation is pretty much almost non existent, and hopefully find a Phoenix. Okay, how do I know if I even close to one? The smell of ash. <sighs> you, you know what? Can you just is there a map of anywhere? A, hmm. As then Blitz shows up out of nowhere. Like, hey, I hear you need a phoenix. Allow me to be some assistance. Like, what? Meanwhile, Ingenium is still needing a hospital. Izuku forgetting about that fact and calling the authorities. Bliss thinking, wait, 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 I'm not doing anything. Shut up. <sighs> Don't worry, they're not for you. They're here to escort this man to safety. Oh, good. <sighs> Yeah, like, need a phoenix? Yeah. Well, looking for you. I can just send you to a place where there are plenty of them. Go on. As NJM is sent to the hospital, Azuku is sent to a pretty. <sighs> A pretty high place where the air is thin, as well as him seeing quite a few nests. And then he sees something that even scares him more. He sees a burst of fire right in front of him. And in the ashes pokes out the head of a cute little baby bird. Is, is this... Yep, yeah, that's a phoenix. Uh, do I just, uh... Hmm. I don't know. You're gonna have to bond with it, possibly. What? Yeah. If anything... Yeah. You know, if you just need his tears, uh... I guess be mean to it. If not, if you want to actually keep it, then... I'm just like, mm. having a phoenix as a companion. Now that I like. <sighs> I am so proud. <sighs> Don't be weird, Blitz. Okay, what do I do? Oh. First, you need to gain its trust. How do I do that? I'm probably going to be kidnapping it soon enough. Hmm. Show that you're not a threat. Like, do you have anything iron-based with you? Um, uh, no, I don't think so. Hmm. Put out your hand to it. See what happens. As, yeah, Izuku, him being hesitant, terrified a little bit, is this pretty much a Howl Trainer Dragon moment when it comes to, t when it comes to it. Kind of like Toothless and Hiccup's first, yes, we're friends now moment. Only thing is, when it comes to Izuku bonding with it, a fiery... <laughs> Streak starts to run up all down his arm. Him freaking out, as who, hell, who wouldn't, 
Until you realize this is way it doesn't burn. As at the end, there's a scorch mark, but it just darkens to the point that you would confuse it for a tattoo. And then he notices it just what? Looking down, seeing that this Phoenix is just rubbing his head up against his. You serious? Good job! He likes you. Uh, uh, seriously? Yeah, it's that easy. Wow. Okay. He's like holding his hand. And just, uh, well, now what? Come on, don't rush it. Just let it find its own way. Because it just jumps on you. And then they go back. Izuku is like, okay, so how do I get the tears? Be an asshole. <coughs> what? Go ahead, be an asshole. I just look at his eyes. Uh, I can't. <sighs> Don't be such a bitch. Maybe you have spent too much time with Moxie. Uh, let's shut the fuck up. Uh, hmm. Well, <clears throat> okay. Let's. Was. <laughs> After all I've done for you, how dare you just act so rude to, to me? That's how I made you employee of the way. What? Oh wait, no, that's what. That's why I wanted the guilt trip, Moxie. No, I mean, um, after I gave you such a wonderful birthday gift, uh, you mean the back? Yes, I mean the backpack. Precisely. But if you want to be such a jerk who treats his friends in such a manner, we're friends. <gasps> How are you and Solus doing? <gasps> yeah. I... I don't want to talk about it. You're going to have to sooner or later. Fine. You see... First, why... Asked him out. It was just supposed to be a way for me to get into Aussies and spy on, you know, Moxie and Millie. Okay. Keep talking. But then I got angry when they started to talk shit about him, pushing him around. Ah, if anything, no one does that to him but me. Okay. Anything else? Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, then I ended up singling myself out in which Verasica I started to think about my Past. I mean, it's bad enough that Fizzarelli started to dig into me, but then Ruska started to really pile it on. <laughs> then Osmodius, <laughs> he he called out Stolas. <laughs> then what happened? He tried to run away and leave me there what yeah as soon as you, you was singled out in the crowd I tried to he just up and tried to run away and leave me there oh
yeah. Then he started to pile on the, the insults, the fact that, yeah, he was married and his kid, and, and how he pretty much threw his life away just to, just so he could sleep with me. And, he couldn't even look at me. Just looked right in his menu when he just got a glance at me and I just couldn't look at him that time. The song continued and then Millie, <laughs> Satan bless her, <laughs> just uh, kind of diverted the attention. Oh. And this asshole stole us. Actually had the nerve to reach for my hand. And I drove him home. Despite him clearly having the ability to teleport back whenever he wanted. Uh, I don't get why he didn't. But... Uh, <laughs> then... He had the nerve to actually try to do something I wasn't ready for. I mean, he actually tried to be more uh, open or whatever. I don't know, it was stupid, but heck, I let him know then and there that he didn't really care. Like, all he wants me to do is pretty much lay him down and go to town on his ass. That's all our agreement's ever been. And now he's trying to make it more than that actually is. And I don't get why. It could be because he actually cares. That he wants more than just uh, pretty much a friends with benefits. Relationship? <sighs> you don't get it. He was going to abandon me there. If he didn't go... If he didn't get singled out. If Osmosius didn't just... Overly like... Stole this, is that you? <sighs> If, if he wasn't stopped, he was going to just leave me there. <sighs> He's going to leave me all alone. I, I don't want to be alone. But I have to be. I just make things worse. was uh huh <clears throat> oh nothing 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 who, who, who said what uh, fuck off um yeah either way you got your little birdie just just uh i'll tell him and him you're that you got what you needed uh, just uh yeah uh, go back to school or whatever the hell you were doing before this whole thing started. Is it gonna pretty much be like, what the fuck did I just? Jesus! I never realized that. Oh my! Oh man! That's someone might need to talk to him. He he, he might be going through some real shit. Damn. Well, he does have the phoenix, and all he needs is a tear or two. The only thing is, it's it's the size of the palm of his hand. And then, again, he still doesn't know, wait, what does this thing eat? Huh, it's technically a bird of prey, I believe. So, maybe meat, hopefully? I'm just heading home, but then... By then, Ida's already heard about what happened. 
And he's pretty much like, yeah, I'm gonna kill this hero killer. But though, yes, his brother's alive. It's still the fact that, oh, uh -uh. no one does this to my brother. And Izuku, though he does want to tell Ia that everything's gonna be all right, he still needs to get those tears. And that should be how this whole ordeal ends. <sighs> okay, let me think. What should be next? Uh, maybe what if Jacob was made from Overwatch? <laughs>